Hello and thanks for clicking on the link to watch this short video looking at one of the new features for both Accountant Edition 2013 and QuickBooks Bookkeeper 2013 and that is Batch Enter Transactions. It's a quick way just using the keyboard if you want or even with the mouse or copy pasting from Excel to enter checks, deposits, and credit card charges right into your clients or your own QuickBooks company file. You'll find it you can add it to your shortcuts of course in the uh, left menu bar now we have um, also in the accountant center if you bring up your accountant center uh, I've added it there as well batch transactions but most of you will find it under the accountant menu batch enter transactions and it just looks like a very much of a spreadsheet let me close that pane there on the left uh, and you, like I said copy paste from Excel or enter them in manually just using your tab or enter bar depending on, on your preference of data entry with QuickBooks so again it supports these three transaction types checks deposits and credit card charges or credits um, and of course you can customize the columns which comes into play in case you want to you know add class or something or if you assign a job do you want it to be billable or not or maybe even enter checks for items and show cost and quantity when you're copy pasting from Excel it's best to match obviously the columns display or layout you have in the spreadsheet and I'll show you that in a sec but let's just first enter you know a couple transactions here and you can just tab in and choose the the payee there and the amount and a memo for whatever it is and of course the uh, account uh, and it may be postage or you could do you know a click drop down or something like that maybe it's professional fees whatever and you go to the next line etc and just keep tab or hit enter depending on your preference in your preferences whether the enter tab stands for uh, tab if you will and I'll do another vendor here and keep going across and um, and perhaps this is a utility or something like that so again you have this these types of things and you click save transactions and go ahead and click yes and it saves it if you were going to change from a check to a credit card charge it would ask you and you have something you haven't saved yet it would ask you do you want to save it so I've saved those two checks now as far as importing goes from the spreadsheet I have a spreadsheet here I have the date check number payee amount memo date number payee amount memo and an account which I'll do and I'll show you how you can do the splits as well because I believe this one for staples is office supplies and snacks or meals and entertainment so let's look at that so you just kinda right click and copy from the Excel spreadsheet and just put it in your cursor in that line there and control V there they are anything that's in red this just isn't a vendor but you'll see when I tab across it will ask me to add it I think I already have that one there's the amount electric bill and I can do utilities and then electric and I can keep tabbing across and this would probably be some kind of uh, Oh, job materials, handbag, sure. <laughs> Little black dress, see there it is, quick add. It's not on the name list, now it is, and I choose the vendor. The amount, web design, so this will be maybe professional fees, something like that, etc. Chevron gas, of course, quick add, and so on. And I'm going to keep going till we're done here. Um, fuel, staples, quick add, vendor, this one where well, let's look at split so we have both the postage so you click the split button down there and I can choose the account and this would be I think I had postage and uh, meals and entertainment or something like that so choose your postage and then of course the rest of the amount here and you can split it up sorry here so that's what we do 9767 for this and then 2975 would be for you know meal entertainment In this case, I'll just do miscellaneous and use the batch of classify and CDR to fix that later. Outback, same kind of thing. So very simple uh, to enter transactions. And travel, there we go. And finally, Southwest Gas. So you can see, you can do either way. Perfect. Save transactions. And then I have seven transactions saved. So that's batch enter transactions within QuickBooks Account and Bookkeeper Edition. Quick entry of your checks, deposits, credit card charges, or credit card credits within QuickBooks kind of spreadsheet module. And you can copy paste from Excel even better. So save you time, save you steps, get the data in there. Hope that's helpful. Have a great day.